All right, this is vlog number two, second week. We're here playing basketball. That's the that's as intro as it gets. This is it, first three of the day, boys. Let's go! Oh, dude. I shoot him. All right. It's like, <laughs> dude. There we go. That, that was better. You were close. That yeah. was dog right. shit. Oh, save your life. Oh, no. Shoot Get. Doesn't have shooter's touch. Doesn't have shooter's touch. Fucking touch you in a second. Dude. Watch out in the crowd. What do you mean? This is productive. This is this is only productive. <laughs> Making shots. Well, we're getting there. I'm getting there. I hit one before. You should have seen it. But you never do this in game, though. It's like, what's the fucking point? It's all training, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll play with us now. What? So you're you on our team. Bro, right, I'm here for I'm here as a coach. I'm here you're in a coaching. On our team. I'm a coaching You're I'm here on our team. You're on Phil player at least. Phil? If we don't have enough I'm players. Riley, we're dude. If we don't have enough players for a game. When do you ever not have enough players? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> See, I hate having two dribbles only. I can't get anywhere. I'm too small. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I was gonna try and swap that, but I thought. Hey. You, go, you ain't going nowhere. You're going over. Oh. <laughs> Defense too strong, dude. Defense too powerful. Let's go! Yes! Beat me. Can't beat me, I'm the gingerbread man. Buddy old pal. Ski. Fine. No, no need. No way. What's that? Just does a semi circle. Works though, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> oh, that was a good shot. Yeah. Do. 
I can do all of nothing against that. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Screen, screen. It's our ball. We hit it, you hit it off Jack's foot before and you said, oh, foot, our ball. Yes, I legit watched you. You I said foot. It. Let's get the footage. Ball. No, this is another. I have the footage. I can Go prove back. it. When I threw it off Jack, we got the ball. Nah, nah, nah. nah Riley's right. I'm right. No, he's not. I am. Right. It's going to be in the video, I promise you. Yeah, show me the video. Show me the proof right now, bitch. I'm showing you now. I can't be it. Stop pinching you, you little bitch. He likes boys, so. Should have lied. I just completely went. I got him. Oh. <laughs> My brother. What is it that you are doing? You're good. Good shot. Sorry. How is your brother? <laughs> Jordan just got flattened. <laughs> he's in. He's out for the season, dude. Get there, Callan. Fall. He cannonballed on him, dude. He was out for blood with that one. Who, Daniel? <laughs> they would have that brace on. Oh, wow. Garbage. I get blocked one time and that's anyone, anything anyone remembers. So the viewers remember. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my Nothing. Callan, I'll legit. <laughs> what do you mean help him? Help him. I wasn't even in there. Yeah, that's the point. Back again. I've had that not holding game. Oh, never driving again. That's the beginning and the end. I was going to come back to the basketball team. Now I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we want you back, but Jordan just wants you over like that. It's a foul. Hit my arm. That's what I'm going to. That's what I'm going to say anyway. Oh! Yeah, it's gonna happen again, I promise you. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no, I do one more. I go one more. I'm really gonna miss. I don't want to shoot again because I've already. I've... What's the time? Nah, I'm a finish. Yeah, whatever. Oh, nah, I gotta keep going. You keep going. Grim. 
What? What are you trying to do, brother? Hey! Done. Dunzo. Dunzo out Washington. I got yours? I'm in a but I'm trying to family thing, so. I thought you were trying to hurt. Yeah, he likes boys. Ain't that right? Big fat man. He's got a head. You got games in your phone? Can you look? They call me LeBron. The white LeBron James. He calls you LeBron. Yeah. Sundered Sky, whatever it is. Sundered Sky. And then I turn it into Haven's Fall. Because I'm, because I'm on. Alright, right, now I'm gonna go buy gold. Let's go, baby. Look at this new POV. Let's go. Alright, so I just got petrol because the Beast 98 or 97 Toyota Corolla that I drive was thirsty. So, just finished basketball with the boys. Well, not just, but I came home and had some food and had a shower because I was all sweaty and this and that and the other thing. So now we are going to go to the Perth Mint and buy some gold. We'll have a bit of a look around there, buy some gold and then that'll be, that'll be that. So, hmm. cheers I guess. Hopefully we have a nice Calm drive there. What is this guy up my ass for? Leave me alone! That guy went through a red light. Idiot! What is that guy doing? Were you born yesterday? Oh, a good indicator. Oh! We're here now. We're at the place. I don't know if you can see this big Perth Mint. And this is the grand entrance. giving me weird looks. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we've made it. They said it's about an hour wait, which is pretty grim. But we're in one of the rooms here with all the jewellery and stuff. And they said I'm allowed to go everywhere except the bullion room, which is where they do all the trading and stuff. So we're gonna have a bit of a look around here and uh, yeah, check some stuff out, check some jewelry out. Check these prices. Four grand necklace, Urilla, precious gemstone. Wow. That looks pretty cool. 40 grand for that one. Bloody hell. It's got someone's hair to stick in that one. Bob. Some Bob stuff. Is that a pink diamond? 22 grand. Wow, look at that one. These are actually pretty cool. What is that? That can't be a diamond, surely. Maybe I'll book a tour. Yeah, I'm gonna go book a tour. I got my wristband, got my little gold coin. I don't know what this is for. They said I put it in something on the tour, but that'll be fun. And I'm allowed to film everything. So, about an hour wait for to buy the gold, and the tour goes for an hour. So. And it starts in like 20 minutes, I think. So we'll go on the tour, and then when I get my text messages, I'll come down and do all the gold buying, and then back to tour. Oh, this is the pink diamond room, apparently. Allegedly. Look at that, 10 grand for those tiny two little things. There's only two pink diamonds in there. 47 grand, jeez. Incredible. I don't know if you know this, but pink diamonds are only found in one mine, and that is in WA. And that mine has since run dry, so can't get them anymore, which is a bit tragic. 
look at that. This is 289 grand. I kind of can't get a really good angle on that. I can't really get close. The jeweled snake. Snake covered in pink diamonds. Argyle pink diamonds. 2.66 carats. Gold, rose gold, fine gold, yellow gold, white diamonds, Colombian emeralds, off of the eyes. Minimum gross weight. It's 323 grams. Wow. Right, here you go, the Argyle diamond line, that's it. What have we got here? In the world of luxury products, pink diamonds are likened to works of fine art, rare books and unique icons. Their beauty and rarity have made them avidly sought after as treasured possessions and the most valuable gemstones on earth. Um, mine was discovered in 1979, Kimberley, region of Western Australia. Uh, commenced production 1983. And it produced more than 865 million carats of diamonds over its 37 year lifespan. That is incredible. That's the area there, I guess. That is where it's found in Australia, up here. We are down here. There you go, I didn't even see that dot there. That's incredible. 865 million carats. That's not even dollars produced, that's just carats. One ounce pink gold, pink diamond ingot. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Pink diamond, ah, oh, it's gold with a pink diamond in it. That's pretty cool. Eight grand for that. Aesthetic. I feel like you just lose it. Look at that one. I don't even know if you can see these, but you can see it. Tiny speck on camera right there is five and a half grand. It is 0 0.01 carat. It is basically a grain of sand. The green ones are cool. Light blue one there too. Purple. These are all the coins. Look at the size of that. One kilo of silver. Bloody hell. One kilo of fine silver. Let's see if I can find my the one I'm buying in here. Yeah. How much is that? One kilo of gold though. All these different coins. Oh, that's the one I'm getting. That tiny little dinky one right there. That is 10 grams. One in the middle. That's the one I'm buying. That's like $1,300. Right, well, I think I've filmed, every, filmed everything in this room. I might see if I can try and find another room somewhere. Found the coin room. 007. It's the Pink Panther thing again. All for movies. Double O seven stuff. Look at a bunch of these coins at home. They're not worth three hundred bucks.
gonna linger in the back of the group here because he's got kids and families and stuff and I don't wanna walk through my camera and go, oh, I'm gonna filming all the dumb stuff. So yeah, doing the tour now if you didn't get that. I was a bit late because I was signing up to buy my bar. But we're, we're ready for it now. So here we go. Um, Also saying that if you look on this side, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but around the outside it says uh, Elizabeth II, Australia, and it says one million dollars there. She was explaining the values, so it has three different values basically. Technically, the first value is one million dollars. It is a one million dollar coin. It is a coin. It's one million dollars. You know, you have one dollar coin. It's worth one. This is a million dollar coin. That's it's legal tender value you could take it to a bank and they would have to give you one million dollars for it second value is its gold content which obviously a lot more is said on here here it says 114 million dollars so that's how much the gold is worth 140 million dollars and then third is putting it up for auction so collector's item obviously some super rich person would come and go yeah i want a gigantic one ton gold coin in my house for no reason at all and there you go you got your one ton gold so that's actually pretty cool and they said that this floor bit is gold but obviously its biggest protective feature is it weighs a ton how are you going to get it out of here which is hilarious
Gulf, but it's no longer in a liquid state. It's already solidified. Within 10 to 15 seconds of that gold going in there, it has gone into a solid state. Although it's solid, it's still very, very hot. Way too hot for me to pick up. But it is solid. Look at that, nothing's pouring out. Very hot gold bar. I did try to pick up this gold bar with these gloves. The gloves are catching fire. Was that worth again? At uh, uh, today's at uh, today's value, this is probably six hundred, maybe even close to seven hundred thousand dollars. They really had that bar locked down. Dude. That was wild. <laughs> I was hoping to get a real close look at it. But... <laughs> these why are these tinted like this? Ah, gold there. This is the gold bar. Don't even think about it. Oh. And then gold in my glass. Is this? Hey, actually wow. hit that down. That is so heavy. That is so heavy. That's actually insanely heavy. Well, 12 kilos. Is insanely heavy. It's still heavy though. Oh, well, there's your gold too. You won't be married. That's cool. 99.9% oh, pure silver plated with 6 grams of pure gold. my bullion bar now because it is 4.30 and they've sent me my message. Finished the tour and I've sent them a text saying I'm ready and we'll go and get our gold bar. So in the tour the guy said that the technical measurement is something called a something ounce which is a little bit over a normal ounce so but I don't have three and a half grams, so I'm just gonna get 10 grams, and then I guess I'll save up to get like one official ounce of gold. You know, when they say in the stock market, they go, they say, um, oh, gold prices is three and a half thousand dollars. That's because that's the price of one of these special ounce things. This, it's a special, there's a special name for it, I forget what it's called, even though I heard it two seconds ago. But... All right, done with it. Transactions, etc., etc., and uh, he's getting my gold for me. So ten grams it was one thousand one hundred eighty bucks. I think he said eighty six or something like that. So yeah, this is exciting. I'm gonna have a new thing, a completely useless thing, but it's worth a lot allegedly. So I don't know if you heard any of the stuff from the tour, but the guy said that if you mix gold with platinum it turns into white gold or if you have gold with like copper it makes rose gold which is cool 
so so they mix the metals so that oh, it's obviously cheaper to buy but if you have lots of gold and lots of copper it turns it into red gold if you have a lot of gold a little bit of silver and a bit of copper as well it turns it into rose gold and then if you want to keep the, ro the gold color but just have it low carrot then you have a lot of gold um, a bit of silver and then a small bit of copper on top and it mixes it nicely so that it uh, keeps its gold color and that's how you end up with you know your nine carat gold or your 12 carat gold i think i forget the carrots but yeah that's how you end up with smaller carat gold which is cool and because platinum and gold prices are really really high that's why white gold is always more expensive than every other kind of gold. And it's also super pure. So, yeah. Got my gold. 10 grams. $1,180 later. I have a tiny little brick of 99.99% .99 pure gold. A tiny block. It might as well be a piece of paper. It's so teeny. And I'll probably show it when I get back to the car. Hopefully I haven't got a ticket. I've been here for an hour and a half. But we move. We do what we do. So this is the first brick in the collection of gold. Around Jay Walk and I'm waiting for no cars. I don't wait, I don't, I don't wait for a green light. I make my way in the world. There she is. The beaut. She's still here. She didn't get towed. The question is, does she have a ticket? Surely, surely no ticket. No ticket. Yeah, let's go, lad. Right, I'll probably actually wait till I get home to show the goal. That would be more wise, so I'm not bling in the gold bar in the middle of the city. Anyway, I guess I'll see you at home when I show you the gold and yeah, thanks for coming with me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.